the street. One simple thing. That's a question from the street, by yes. the way, not my yes. own. Yeah. They are just sympathizing with the people, with what happened in France, you know, uh, and they feel for them because they know mm -hmm. what it means, mm -hmm. right? But no one, they're wondering, why, why only now? Why? Because it's in the West, you know? So, uh, uh, it's, uh, uh, it's not, it's not, uh, well, if you can get, if you want to get into this kind of recommendation, you will never come to an end. Mm. But I think it's, no, it's just, uh, just a no, sarcastic no. question. No, 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 it yeah, reveals a lot. You are a very uh, uh, clever, uh, provocative uh, <laughs> <laughs> but but let, me, let, me, let me just tell you, just two, you know, two statements, mm. statements today. Made mm -hmm. one by uh, uh, Sheikh Talb, right? And that I, I really appreciated and respected this man. What did he say? He said, well, ignore what happened. I believe in that. And meanwhile, the Pope. Pope Tulagros came out yes. with a very strong statement. So I, I'm, I'm trying just to reach the point that how civilized the Egyptian people are dealing with this situation, right? And uh, that's why I'm, what I'm saying that from now on, we will have to have a new language, right? Exactly. If they didn't understand well, by, 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 by words, now they are understanding by deeds, unfortunately bad deeds, right? So let's start together, right? That this is that, that now we should know there is a uh, 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 new connection between those uh, terrorists and Islam as a religion. Second, that uh, terrorist, uh, terrorist attacks could take place in any part of the world. You know, we are in a world, you know, with, with the high tech, with the social media. You, with the social media, you can mobilize thousands. And look what's happening in Daesh. It's, it's a very uh, peculiar case yeah. that needs to be studied. Right? So, uh, I, I today I claim the responsibility by Al-Qaeda. This issue by Al-Qaeda. Let me just uh, 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 underline one thing. Where did this claim of responsibility come from? Yeah. From their Twitter account. I know that when I use my telephone and I install the Twitter program, it says this uh, program needs to identify your location. Uh, what about the international intelligence? Can't they get these people through the Twitter accounts? There's a big question mark here which I don't understand. Do you have an answer for that? Well, I don't think they can cope with you know, because what the, the, now the, the magic is turning against the magician. Mm -hmm. yeah, this is what's happening now, you know. And Although, so it's the magician's doing. Yes, all right, yeah. But look, a very diplomatic answer. Yes. <laughs> 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 you said Egypt uh, is doing. Egypt has started doing. Uh, again, I want to refer to the unreported statement or, or speech by the president in Al Azhar University. <laughs> If I can uh, uh, sum it up, basically, the president said, charity starts at home. If we want to address the different issues, we have to address our thinking at home, the way our preachers, our religious uh, men are uh, 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 tackling religion and are preaching to the people. This is one step. What other steps? Or is this one of the major steps that Egypt is underlining as part of their terrorism combating measures? I, I want both of your inputs. Well, let me tell you just uh, uh, the reaction of the statement by the president, you know, in the European Parliament. Mm. The European Parliament now is discussing the possibility of issuing a decision or a resolution regarding the situation in Egypt, uh, you know, and. Uh, uh, it started by having the same the same uh, language, you know, regarding uh, freedoms, regarding minorities, regarding uh, human rights, so on and so forth. Then came the statement made by by by, by the president and his visit <coughs> to the, the church. The, the church. <laughs> the whole situation has dramatically changed, and that proves that you know uh, what we have started. We should pursue, uh, and we will have to expand. I think. A kind of, of uh, 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 forum should start uh, to bring all the, the, the members of the international community in order to cover all aspects because it's a big package. It's it's cultural, it's political, it's security, it's economic. It is, you know, uh, it needs a common understanding and a common understanding not only among us but common understanding of the the, the quality 
of the challenge, the quality of the threat, you know, and uh, we, we need not to prove to them that it is universal. It's no longer regional or local, so on and so forth. So, uh, uh, but what is good about this, that, you know, you feel that Egypt, without asking for leadership, without asking for regional rule, whatever, you know, this kind of, 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 of talk, you know, has already uh, set the tone. Mm. To, in order to start a new international effort, in order to contain, and it will take a long time. Of course. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Talk to me. Well, what I like, in fact, is the uh, quick visit by President Sisi to the church. That changed many things, not internally, but even externally, even into the, eye, the eyes of the world. And he was alone when he was talking, he said, let them see us together. And even his speech when he was talking, that they said, we love you, and he said, we also love you. I mean, it looks so sincere. Because we are one at the end of the day. Exactly. He looked so sincere, and this is a clear message, and it came on the right time, about two or three days before this attack happened. I mean, the timing itself, I think the world will be changing in this situation, and this is for the benefit of the world, since we are living in this world and the whole thing is moving quickly. I mean with the media and the coverage and also with the diplomatic efforts but also the media covering this will help change some of the weak things. And as I see you will, hear, you will start hearing voices from the United States and from Europe. People will start to realize what is going on. The man in the street will say, what is going on? We need that. We need to stop. We need to know, uh, we have to know that the Middle East we do have this problem. What happened to us was not that simple. Three years in a state of chaos, and we have been killed here and there. And all of Egypt, you know, the situation itself, if you look to the borders here and there, every day we have this. Why don't anybody talk about it? Why don't we have a fair coverage? Even with the foreign media, we don't have fair coverage. I mean, we are doing our best, but they are not listening to us. Even the foreign press here in Egypt. Yes, exactly, exactly. Mm -hmm. They are not fair. But I think so, when something happens to them, they will start to realize, oh, Maybe they are right, maybe we have to change our look to the area itself. Something is serious, and I think so this is the benefit. I still think this is a benefit here. Uh, if I may, I just want to get back to a question that you, you raised before, that uh, is the freedom of expression is limitless. Mm -hmm. uh, is it limitless? It is. Uh, it is, no, it it is should, it, but, but you know the limit is not that you only by, 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 by um, formulating laws or... No, but you have to balance this with the freedom of religion, right? Because you, you cannot condemn Islam. I am Christian, right? And I always felt that, you know, that Islam is being hurt by those Islamized pers by, by persons, you know, mm -hmm. including the Muslim brothers and uh, uh, other Islamic groups. So it's, it is, it is a, 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 an issue that, you know, they have, and I think they have started to realize, and again, I was, I was about to talk about you know, the reaction in France and the reaction in Germany. Mm. You have to remember that the largest number of Muslims are in France and Germany, mm. and you see that Merkel was politically intelligent to, to seize the moment in order to, to curb you know, a new wave, because the, again, the, 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 the late question that you asked, the, the rightist parties, they realized, you know, how dangerous could be the rightist parties, you know, in order to inflammate, you know, this Islamophobia, and that would increase uh, the division in the society as much as it would give more reasons for terrorists uh, in order to use them to attack, and uh, to, to commit more attacks. So I think that the whole atmosphere now, internationally, there is uh, a mature, uh, uh, appreciation of the political situation now and uh, the, 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 the imperative need for a collective effort uh, 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 that would contain this phenomena and this wave, you know, which is, I find it, uh, something, you know, has reached uh, uh, unbelievable uh, limits. One of the benefactors of the developments is certainly the French President François Hollande, due to his popularity uh, waiting in France pre the terrorist act and post the terrorist act. Now François Hollande is being characterized or labeled as the uniter or, or, or father of, of uh, 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 France. How politically on the French political scene, how do you see that faring? Uh, well, I, I fully agree with you, you know, because, you know, Hollande was suffering, really, his rating has gone down because of the economic situation, because of 
this kind of, uh, you know, uh, uh, conflicting uh, reaction regarding the laws, labor laws, uh, and the, the deteriorating economic situation, and suddenly he got that while he was, he could have been badly hurt, and his rating could have been gone even lower than that. But he handled the situation in a very clever manner, and I think the kind of support he got from through this the moral leaders, yeah, from the the leaders, you know, from all over the world, and mm -hmm. you know, he's, he was fortunate enough. So, what do you make of that first?